This is Insider Medicine in 60 from Mississippi. Despite evidence of the importance of dietary modification for the management of high blood pressure, patients with the condition are not complying. Over a decade ago, research showed that a diet high in fruits, vegetables, and low-fat dairy products could significantly lower blood pressure. But researchers analyzing data from over 4,000 hypertensive patients show that only 19% regularly follow this diet, down 7% from a decade ago. From Houston, the source of corneal donation may influence the risk of post-operative infection in cases of corneal transplantation. In a study of nearly 500,000 corneas distributed by the Eye Bank Association of America, serious eye infections occurred in three cases per 10,000. When donor tissue came from hospitalized patients, the risk of infection was three times higher. And if the patient suffered from cancer, the risk was twice as high. And finally, from Chicago, patients with a progressive neurodegenerative condition that affects speech report a significantly higher likelihood of having previously had a learning disability. In a study of nearly 700 patients, half of whom had Alzheimer's disease, dementia or primary progressive aphasia, those with progressive aphasia were 10 times more likely to report having had a learning disability when compared to controls, particularly dyslexia. For Insider Medicine in 60, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.